Hi everybody, welcome to Tetrix RoboBench. My name's Tim, I'm with uh, Pitsco Education, and I wanna welcome you to our video uh, series. For this video, we want to actually talk about mounting the servos onto the servo mounts from the Tetrix Prime Starter Kit. So, um, to begin with, we wanna make sure that we gather up some of the things from the uh, starter set. Um, we've got the wireless gamepad controller, we've got the receiver, we need the battery, we need servo horns, and we need the servo mounting brackets, and then we need the servos themselves. And they are slightly different in the way they mount, so we're gonna go through both of these, but I, I wanna make sure that we're clear on the two different types of servos. We wanna make sure that we clearly uh, understand the difference between the two. There's their standard servo that is Mark 322 HD on the outside. This is a servo that gives us a range of 180 degrees of motion. And this is the then the continuous rotation servo that acts as our drive motor that will uh, continually rotate and it's marked uh, with the 1425CR on the box. So continuous rotation, standard servo, these are the two types and we're going to go ahead and put those together. So we're going to start with the continuous rotation servo because that one's just a little bit easier, a little bit, takes a little bit less time. So I'm going to uh, push the unneeded items to the side just a, a moment. I'm going to put the, the standard servo. Um, I'm going to set one of these aside, set one of the packages aside. So I've got my continuous rotation servo, I've got a servo horn, and I've got my servo mounting bracket. So I'm going to start by taking the servo mounting bracket out of the packaging. I've got the bracket itself and I've got a package of four screws. So we'll open those up. Put our screws in a little bit of a container so we keep track of those. Open our bracket so that's easily accessible. And I'm going to open up my servo. Now again, uh, if your servo comes without a sticker, one of the things that we want to make sure that you do so you can identify the servo moving forward is put the appropriate sticker on the side of the servo so we know what kind of servo it is. Continuous rotation servo should come with a sticker that says continuous rotation. That's pretty easy to understand, so I'm just going to peel the sticker off. I'm going to place that carefully on the side. That's going to identify that servo. The next step I'm going to do is take my Phillips screwdriver and I'm going to remove the existing servo horn. Now once I've removed or loosened that screw, we want to keep that screw, so don't, don't lose that. Let's put that in with our other screws and we can pop off that servo horn. So once we've done that, we're ready to mount the servo onto the bracket. So if we look at the bracket, we can see that there's a hole through the middle got post on the back side so we're going to simply take that bracket make sure the white gear of the servo is visible through the top we're going to turn that over and we're going to take our four screws and we're going to put them one each and each one of those mounting posts on the back now I want to make sure that everybody understands we're using metal screws into plastic so we do not want to over tighten these if we strip that bracket out we've ruined the bracket so Let's just keep that in mind as we um, mount the servo onto the bracket using the Phillips head screws. Just snug. Once we have those screws snugged into the bracket, we're almost done with this. We've got on the side our sticker that reminds it and says that it's a continuous rotation. If we look at the top of the bracket, the last thing we need to do is mount their servo horn. Now, if you look really closely in that the hole on our servo horn, you'll see that it's got little teeth that mesh with the teeth on the top of the servo. So if you carefully place that on, you'll feel that kind of engage. And when you do, you simply are going to press that down just like that. You're going to take the little black screw that we used to remove the initial uh, servo horn from the servo, put that down into the hole, take our Phillips screwdriver, and tighten that back down.
Once we have that, again, snug, we don't want to over tighten. Our servo is mounted into our servo bracket. We'll know it's continuous rotation by the fact if we take that servo horn, we can rotate it all the way around. And we're done with the continuous rotation. Now we're going to move on to the standard servo. So now when we go to the standard servo, this first part of the process is exactly the same. You can see that I've, I've marked the servo with the standard sticker. I've removed the existing servo horn and I mounted it into the bracket just like I did for my continuous rotation. So once we get it to this point, this is where the process is going to change just a little bit. We're going to go back to um, what we did in with our uh, gripper kit. We have to center the servo with the range of motion. So I want to go to my wireless receiver and I want to plug my servo into one of the channels. It doesn't matter which one but we want to make sure that the wiring color is the correct. Yellow goes to um, the inside where the label is. Yellow, red, black. Then we want to go to the battery and we want to uh, connect the battery source. Again, we want to make sure that we get the flashing red light. This means that the um, uh, receiver has power. And then when we turn on the gamepad, we'll see that the uh, receiver turns to a solid red light and that actually initiates the servo and it centers the servo into the range of motion for the standard servo. With that in place, now we want to take the servo horn and, and this time we want to locate the uh, small hole where the set screw goes. We want to make sure that is pointing out or toward the uh, bottom of the bracket when you hold it like this. We want to initiate the, the, the teeth on the, the horn again, making sure that if we have to, we can slightly change the orientation until we get that set screw hole pointing uh, directly to the outside if we can. And simply we want to press that all the way down. Take the small black set screw that we held the original horn on and we want to go ahead and tighten that back down. That holds the servo horn onto the standard servo. And then if we take our uh, controller, we should be able to, from our gamepad, move that stick up and down depending on the channel that you've got. And you can see you've got about, uh, about um, 90 to 130 degrees of rotation on that horn and we've got our standard servo mount finished. So now we've seen how to mount our servos from our Tetrix Prime starter sets into the servo mounts. Once you've done this you can leave them together. It's a one-time thing. So thanks for joining me today at uh, the Tetrix Robo Bench and we look forward hopefully to you coming back and seeing additional videos on how to use your Tetrix Prime and Tetrix Max sets uh, in the future. So come on back and see us.